Lifting Up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. Hi, this is Tim with Morial TV and Morial Radio here live in Galilee, Israel with James Jacob Prash. Jacob, one of the believers asked the question based on 1 Corinthians 5.5, 5, do believers have the power to hand someone over to Satan for discipline? First of all, we have to understand that 1 Corinthians 5.5 5 is built upon the teaching of Jesus in Matthew 18 concerning binding and loosing. If someone does not repent of a sin, you go to them privately. Then you go with witnesses. Then you bring it before the body. Then if they don't repent, they are disfellowed until such time as they do. Binding and loosing. You can only bind present continuous act of what is being bound in heaven. In that particular instance, the Holy Spirit showed Paul to hand that person who was engaging in sex with his father's wife over to Satan for the destruction of his flesh, that his soul would be saved. I tell the story, and it's a sad one, and a true one, that took place in England a number of years ago. More than 15 years now, where a Christian couple had a daughter who fell away from the Lord when she went to university, became involved in the drug culture and immorality, wouldn't repent, broke her parents' heart, they prayed and prayed, and she got worse and worse. Real mess she made of her life. And then, as they continued to pray, she came home one evening and knocked on the door. Mom, Dad, I have AIDS. Please pray with me. AIDS being terminal at that time. No antiretrovirals. She was terminally ill. She repented. God does not like to save people to lose them. He leaves the 99 for the one. But realize, an unrepentant backslider... God will do what it takes to get them back, including if they want to follow Satan, he'll give them over to Satan for the destruction of their flesh. Now, when God does that, it's like what happened with Job, although with Job it was for entirely different reasons. It was not because of Job's sin. God always sets a limit on how far Satan can go. But when the Holy Spirit leads, it is possible for the body of Christ to have the authority to give someone over to Satan for the destruction of their flesh. But Matthew 18 must be meticulously followed. It must be the last resort of last resorts. And above all, the Holy Spirit must be telling you to do it. If he's not telling you to do it, don't even think about doing it. If that didn't happen to that guy, whoever he was, he never would have repented and went to hell. It is a last case of last cases. God must be leading you to do it. It's not something the church has any authority to do arbitrary. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Dear friends, greetings of Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print for the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But... In this day of Kindle and electronic books, 
They're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen. Will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo. Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.